guys welcome back to the video as promised I will be doing the shimmer spray this is gonna be somewhat of a short video because it's a really really easy so what you're gonna need is an empty bottle with a spray nozzle and you're gonna need some aloe vera juice and a measuring cup so in this cup I've already got about one third cup of aloe vera juice in here now what I'm gonna also add is some a witch hazel right here and we're going to I'm just gonna mix it all up in the cup because it's gonna make it a whole lot easier to pour in this bottle so the witch hazel I'm going to squeeze in here uh, let's say that's about a tablespoon and then the next thing we are going to do is add some glycerin. The glycerin is going to help this stick to your skin when you spray it. So we're going to add about a teaspoon of glycerin. And then, this is optional, but this is what I've been waiting for and I like, you know, made it, made it all messy because I love this. This is Egyptian musk. Um, you don't have to put perfume in here if you don't want to, especially, let me just go ahead and say this. If you were going to put this in your hair or on your face, in your hair or on your face, do not put perfume in there. The glycerin will help this stick to your hair or your face and the witch hazel, which is a toner, is safe for your face as well as your hair and um, your shimmerista spray or your shimmerista powder or whatever type of pigment loose pigment that you are going to use you got to put that in there mix it up put it in the bottle now if you want some smell goods in there which is that's what I'm gonna do because I will not be spraying this on my face or on my hair I'm gonna be using this Egyptian oil musk and I'm going to pour that in there and that's gonna be about well I'll say about another teaspoon now after that is done you have two options you can use whatever pigment you want but if you so choose to follow this video with the two pigments that I have which is the shimmerista this is in the color of sunlight and then this one is moonlight now if you are of dark complexion so I'm gonna say medium to dark complexion this one will give you a very very nice glow to your skin if you are of a lighter complexion to uh, yeah, medium to light complexion or fair you will want to use this one this one will give you a nice glow if you use this on dark skin and it just look like you have you know just a shimmer spray so what the the look I'm going for is a shimmer glow so I will be using this one now if you are olive tone I I'm not no expert <laughs> but I do think that if you mix the two together that will give you a nice glow but then again this is for your own purposes so you can use whatever shimmer you want to you can use a gold loose pigment you can scrape out trophy wife out of Fenty Beauty and put that in there if you want to it's all up to you this is your recipe or well this is this is your recipe your spray you put whatever you want in there but I'm putting this in there so I'm going to just sprinkle that in there and I'm going to mix it up now you can use as much as you want to or as little as you want to depends up to you um I don't know how much that is <laughs> I'm just eyeballing it and because I am abundantly lazy <laughs> and I did not bring a spoon down here I'm going to use the back of this brush and I'm basically going to mix it together to see how I like it okay so now that we got that mixed together we got a smell good in there you can add whatever perfume you want to as well just as long as you're not going to be putting that on your face or on your hair 
but um just like i said before if you're going to be putting that on your face or your hair you need to do omit the uh oil and perfume and you can also just mix this up with just glycerin and um what did i have y'all i'm sitting up here forgetting stuff the uh, aloe vera juice so so far uh, this is what it looks like i hope you guys can see that i think i'm gonna add just a little bit of moonlight just a little bit and i say that was about a teaspoon of moonlight let me close it before i drop everything and then you get this kind of iridescent unicornish looking color so now that we got that all mixed up make sure you mix it well so that the uh glycerin and the oil mixes well with the loose pigment now what i'm going to do is pour that into my bottle without making a mess Now that I've got that mixed up, this is what it looks like in the bottle. Really pretty, right? So I'm going to go ahead and give this some more shake and I'll be back. Okay, so when you're done, it should look like this. This camera doesn't know justice where you can see all the nice shimmer in there. So what I did was go ahead and put some more aloe vera juice in this because I wanted to fill up the bottle all the way. So when you spray it, you get a nice glow. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm going to spray this and then I'm going to let it dry and I'll be back. <laughs> So I also want to add to this video that I think people don't know a lot that they can do with loose pigment. Loose pigment, you can actually do a lot with it, like so far as make a shimmer spray, nail polish, um, eyeliner, mascara. I'll leave the little eye thingy up there so you guys can go check out one of my videos. Uh, where I talk about all the things that you could do with loose pigment and this is basically all this is is just a loose shimmer pigment that's all it is so this is at any of you guys' Walmart, Walgreens, CVS anywhere L'Oreal is sold this will be there this is their new line they only have two of them um, they haven't came out with any more. They just have the two so feel free to experiment with this So this is what it looks like as you can tell on camera I went ahead and turned off the light you see how it's got that nice glow to your skin Versus my other arm ain't got nothing on it. This one has nothing on it. This one has a glow on it So you guys go ahead and uh, let me know if you're gonna try and make this Make sure you like, comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Share this share tutorial. That would be awesome. Give me a thumbs up for the super short video because that's really hard for me to do sometimes. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.